So, I can now find m i will be actually T matrix of m bar. So, I can write that simply we say m p m q v r v s h t and h h should be equal to the transpose of the matrix. So, 1 multiplied by m bar v bar and h t bar. So, I can now say this information is true. We also know that t transpose is as same as t inverse and t is supposed to be orthogonal. Okay, this is also true. Having said this, we can now write the following set of equations delta bar of the ith member is simply T transpose of the ith member of delta of the ith member and delta of the ith member is T of the ith member of delta bar. So, I call this as 3 A and 3 B, where delta I is simply theta P, theta Q, delta R, delta S, delta T, delta H delta bar i will be theta bar p q delta r s delta bar s delta bar t delta bar h. Okay. Now, if you look at the transpo transformation matrix, there are cos and sin values. So, if the member is arbitrarily oriented, if this becomes theta and this is my x m and this is my x and x m is measured from x anti clockwise you know this component is actually cos theta and this component is sin theta. So, I can call this component as C x because I am resolving this along x axis and I can call this component as C y because I am resolving this along the y axis. So, now having said this my transformation matrix T can be said slightly in a different manner. Okay, look at this matrix cos is replaced with C x and sin is replaced with C y and look at this matrix now okay. and so. So, as we said let us re insist this fact for solving the problem there are two axes the reference axis which is x y the member axis 
which is x m and y m. Okay. Now, it is interesting to note that local axis x m y m is rotated anti clockwise by theta degrees <coughs> with respect to the reference axis is it not. So, I call this angle as theta. So, theta is measured anti clockwise. that is positive x m with respect to positive x is measured correct. So, now this will govern the orientation of the member with respect to reference axis. The most interesting feature is the T matrix will automatically take care of this mapping. It means just enter theta in counter clockwise direction measured from x y that is all. So, whatever may be the value if the value is more than 90 more than 180 it is automatically taken care of in the T matrix. Okay. Let us take an arbitrary oriented member this becomes my x m and normal to this becomes my y m axis and this is my global axis or reference axis x and y. Okay. Now, this is my j th n, this is my k th n and the member has an orientation theta. The member has a length which is actually equal to L i which I want to map. Okay. So, that can be easily done. So, let us project these values on the x y plane So, this is x k this is x j this is y j y k is it not. So, now I can find C x which is cos theta which is actually x k minus x j by L i c y which is sin theta can be y k minus y j by L i where L i is square root of x k minus x j square plus y k minus y j square. So, once I know c x, c y and theta okay, I can always define the matrix T for a given oriented member of theta with respect to x y axis. Okay. So, now for known orientation of x m y m axis with reference to the x y axis transformation matrix is completely known. Okay. Now, we also know the stiffness matrix of the ith member in the local axis is it not that is this matrix which is p q r s t h 4 e i by l 
2 e i by l ok w. We know this matrix. This is for the local axis. Now, I want to find the stiffness matrix of this member bar with respect to the global axis. Okay. We know m i okay, is equal to k i of delta i. Let us call equation number 1. We also know m i is transformation matrix of ith member with respect to m bar i and delta local is transformation matrix of ith member to delta global. Okay? I call this as equation number 2. Substituting this, we can very well say now substituting 2 in 1. So, let us replace the left hand side with T of m bar i is it not will be equal to k delta i is again replaced as T delta bar i. I want to convert this into reference axis system. So, pre multiply with the T inverse I get m bar i will be T i inverse k i T i of delta bar i. We already know T is an orthogonal matrix therefore, T inverse is a same as same as T transpose. So, k i of t of delta bar i. So, friends I have a relationship now m bar is some value of delta y. So, I can now say this is what we call as k bar. So, k bar i which is the global stiffness matrix of the member is nothing but t transpose k t. Okay? So, let us write that here. So, k bar of an any member is T transpose of that member k local of that member and again post multiply by the transpose matrix I mean transformation matrix. Okay? So, we have established a relationship to find the global stiffness matrix. of ith member which is arbitrarily oriented is it not with respect to the reference axis correct. Now, I can write m bar i is k bar i of delta bar. So, the equation this is 3 equation 4 gives the relationship between component end displacements that is delta bar and end actions of the member that is m bar in x y axis system is it not. Now, we can say T matrix is the transformation matrix which is given by
and one can write T transpose as well. So, once I know T and T transpose, I can always find K global with the simple equation T transpose K local with T, where K i is known value for ith number, is it not? We already have this matrix with us which need not be changed, which is completely valid, it is only transformed with this equation. Okay? That is what we want to emphasize. So, friends, in the summary, we understood that for an arbitrarily oriented member whose local axes are x m y m need to be transformed. to the reference axis system x y. However, the stiffness matrix what you have worked out for the local axis is valid provided it is transformed in the reference axis system. So, all relationships like moment like moment local is T of moment global or moment global is T transpose of moment local. Similarly, K global is T transpose K T and so on, which we discussed in this lecture. We will continue the discussion and apply it on a problem and show you how this can be solved easily for a non-orthogonal structures. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.